The Dano-Swedish War of 1657 was a conflict between Denmark and Sweden that lasted for two years. It was part of the larger European conflict known as the Northern Wars, which pitted the Protestant powers of the North against the Catholic powers of the South. The war was sparked by a dispute over the succession to the throne of Poland-Lithuania, which both Denmark and Sweden claimed as their sphere of influence. At the time, Denmark was ruled by King Frederick III, who was eager to expand his influence in the Baltic region. She was succeeded by her cousin, Charles X. Gustav, who was determined to assert Sweden's dominance in the Baltic. The conflict began in 1657, when Frederick III invaded the Swedish province of Scania. This move was met with swift retaliation from Charles X. Gustav, who quickly mobilized his army and invaded Denmark. The Swedish army was initially successful, capturing several key Danish cities and forcing Frederick III to retreat to the island of Zealand. However, the tide of the war soon turned in Denmark's favor. In 1658, the Danish navy won a decisive victory over the Swedish navy in the Battle of the Sound, which secured Denmark's control of the vital waterway between the Baltic and the North Sea. This victory allowed the Danes to launch a counteroffensive and retake many of the cities they had lost. The war ended in 1660 with the Treaty of Copenhagen, which was largely favorable to Denmark. Sweden agreed to cede several provinces, including Scania, to Denmark, and pay a large indemnity. In addition, Denmark was recognized as the dominant power in the Baltic, and Sweden was forced to abandon its plans for expansion. The Dano-Swedish War of 1657 was a significant event in European history, as it marked the beginning of Denmark's emergence as a major power in the region. It also demonstrated the importance of naval power in this era, as the Battle of the Sound was one of the largest naval battles of the 17th century. Finally, the war highlighted the ongoing struggle between Protestant and Catholic powers in Europe, which would continue to shape the continent's history for centuries to come.